Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Now today I'm going to show you around the 2021 Tag Boondock. Now if it was a standard tag, it's going to weigh just under 1,300 pounds, but the Boondock package is going to add about 130 pounds. And as we go through, I will tell you what is included in that Boondock package. Um, but this trailer is small, it's lightweight, it's got a great lightweight tongue weight. So if you are trying to fit a trailer behind a smaller vehicle, look down below on this video and you'll see all the specs. So let's get started on the outside. Now the first thing I notice on the 2021 models is that the graphics are going to change just a little bit from what you may have seen in the past. Uh, they have the same colors available. It is a white, black, gray, red, and blue. However, the gray, the red, and the blue are a little bit darker to match the vehicle colors that you'll see more of today. It gives it a really classy look. This is the white, of course, with the darker gray on it, and you'll notice it's got the diamond plate fenders and the Nerf bar step. Now this small Nerf bar step is in front of the wheel well and a smaller one on the back. Now these three features are part of the boondock package. Now other things that are part of the off-road package will be the 15 inch off-road tires with the pitched axle, gives you a little bit more ground clearance and you have the roof rack on the top there is a 105 watt solar panel on the roof. The handle right here with the boondock in the base plate. And you'll notice there is also a netting inside the door. The other item on the boondock package is going to be this tray across the front. It gives you a little more space to uh, maybe pack some gear, tie it on in the front. So let's review which items are part of the boondock package that you'll see on this trailer today. The tray on the front, the Nerf bars, the netting on the door, the boondock handle, diamond plate fender, the 15 inch off-road tires with the pitched axle, the roof rack, and the 105 watt solar panel. Those pieces are part of the boondock package but be sure to ask your dealer if you can get any part of that separately. Some of the items can be added separately. All right, well, let's move around to the front. A new feature on the 2021 models will be this diamond plate tub. Now, in the past, there was a diamond plate tub on the front of the boondock models. However, now every tag will have this diamond plate tub and it is a little bit different shape. You notice it's a little wider. Let's open it up and take a look. Inside here with the gas prop to hold it open, which is really nice, there is one propane bottle and you would also put your battery box with your battery in here as well. It's still gonna leave some space for storage. If you wanted, you could do a second propane tank and relocate that battery to a different space. Uh, some people have done that, but it does give you lots of options in here. And if nothing else, in a standard configuration, it's going to give you a little more storage. The front of the tag has a hand crank from the factory. Very easy to operate, but if you wanted an electric jack, that's easy to add as well. All right, now let's come around to the side. The standard handles are on the tag. They are so easy to push around if you're on flat ground, easy to maneuver it in your camp space. That's why these handles are here. Now on this side, let's take just a minute to talk about the netting again on the inside of the door. And it's an easier shot to show you the closure on these portal windows. It's a very simple way they work, 
I just put my hand in the middle and they twist open so that you've got slots where you can see outside. There is a little button right here to move it side to side, but easy enough to just move it with your hand. All right, doors on both sides of this. Nice to give you fresh air when you're inside. And we'll show you the details in there in just a minute. Now the spare tire on the tag is located underneath. You can see it mounted right here. And it is a standard spare. It is not a matching spare to your outside tire. It really is just to get you where you need to go to get your tire repaired. Um, they do that for ground clearance. So you see right here is where you will actually hook up a crank to raise and lower that spare tire underneath. And there's directions right there on the left on which direction to raise and lower it. Really pretty easy access there. But keep in mind that the spare tire standard is what is included here, not the boondock tire. Now these windows on the side, they're dual pane acrylic. We'll show you how they work once we get inside. Let's come back around to the galley. The speakers are mounted right up here in the corners. On this right side, you have a 110 plug, the USB and the 12 volt a nice shelf for some extra storage. They've added an LED light right across the top. And you'll also notice nice silver backsplash. Underneath, this is the Yeti. It is the 35 quart Yeti. Um, really great for boondocking and for camping at a campsite. You know, it is gonna keep things cold for days. Easy to pull out and access here. Now, if you wanted to pull out this Yeti, set it on the ground, put it somewhere else, you'd have a great storage space in here as well. The microwave in the past was available on only the six wide models. Now this happens to be an XL, which means it's six feet wide instead of five. The microwave is now available in the five wide and the six wide. So the kitchen will look very similar to this if you had a five wide. It will just have a little less storage right here and a little less counter space. That's a great feature to have all of this in a five wide if you wanted to go with a narrower trailer, maybe save a little bit of weight. All right, two burner stove here, nice square aluminum sink with some hooks at the top for hangers. Now over here, you've got the water pump switch because if you're actually uh, using the sink back here, you might need to turn the water pump on as you're using it. So that makes sense. It's right next to the sink. And this is the accent light on the top. A quick peek under here. These trailers do have an eight gallon fresh water tank. And of course, access to the water pump and the plumbing right underneath here. Now you'll notice they've changed the cabinetry. It is a gray tone now, uh, instead of the birch, and a nice gray toned uh, wood look on the vinyl. Gives it a much softer feel and looks really great, I think, with this white trailer with the gray graphics. Let's look underneath here. We do have something new. There is, it's tough to see, but right here, there is a gas port. So if you wanted to hook up a grill outside, you could connect to the propane on the trailer, set up your grill right here, and just add to the usefulness of this kitchen. Now those grills, you wanna be sure you use ones that are made for outdoor ports on the RV. Not just any camp stove that you pick up will work, so be sure to check that out. All right, LED light in the top, so it's easy to see what's happening in the kitchen. Yeah, and I love the recessed lighting. Um, let's pull this down. And while we're here, give you a good look. This is very stiff shocks on this. Just twist to close. A good picture of the solar panel that's on the top. Now that antenna that you see is for the stereo that we'll look at inside. Now on this side, you have the water hookups. On the right is the city water fill which is, of course, what you hook up to the hydrant where the water will go directly to the faucet. If you're boondocking or you wanna carry water with you, uh, you simply take the cap off, fill up your fresh water tank 
right here, put the cap back on. Again, this trailer holds eight gallons of fresh water. The electrical hooks up right here. It is its own cord. It doesn't connect to the trailer all the time. So you'd simply disconnect this, roll it up and store it when you're traveling. Above, you do have a cable TV hookup or a portable satellite hookup. Now underneath is a spray port. It doesn't have hot and cold, but it has a nice coiled sprayer that has a quick connect, connects right in here so that you can use it for uh, rinsing off your feet at the beach, uh, anything that you would need a little outside water for. And then this just goes right back in the middle, stores right here, and closes right back up. Now remember you also have another Nerf bar back here. I love the, the aluminum look of these, but they're really useful because you can actually step up on it to reach the roof rack if you're carrying a kayak or storing some things on the roof. Now that covers the outside of this 2021 tag. Let's go inside and see what we find there. Now the inside of the tag actually is more comfortable than you might think. I love this space in here. Now this is an XL, which means this is 70 inches wide instead of 58. Uh, instead of being a queen size bed, it's got an extra foot on it, so it's almost king size width. The length is a little longer in 21 as well, so it's 75 inches tall. Uh, there is actually a few inches as well, so you could probably get a little extra out of it if you're a little taller, but really a very comfortable space. Now, the way they got a little longer bed in here is by reducing the headboard. So this is thinner than you've seen in the past, and there is a slider here that gives you a little storage behind there. It's not much, but maybe um, an, an inch and a half or so on the bottom, and it angles up and gets a little wider at the top. Now, again, they have changed this to be the gray wood tone, which really makes it feel warm in here. The ledge on the top has about a one and a half inch lip on it. It's about three inches deep. And on this side, there is a 12 volt uh, plug along with the two USBs. On the other side is the 110 plug. So you've got plugs on both sides right on the top of this ledge, reading lights on both sides. And just like in the past, they can be blue, which it's a nice soft light, or you can hold it down and have a white light. Now on this side is the fire extinguisher with the carbon monoxide detector right underneath it. On the other side, the smoke detector right up here to my right. All the windows in this tag are gonna be dual pane acrylic windows. And it's wonderful because they open completely, not just half the window. So the way that works is you wanna disconnect all of these, be sure they're open. And it looks like they are. And this pushes up. Let's see how high it goes. You can push it all the way up. Or you could, of course, stop it halfway because you just tighten these levers to hold it in place. There is a blackout that comes up. And then the screen from the top. They do clip together, so if you wanted, you could have some privacy and still a little airflow at the top. And then depending on what you liked, you could open it up completely. Just a nice feature. Now the windows on the side do exactly the same thing. So a lot of great airflow in this camper. You do have bins on both sides as well. So take a look at that. You know, every little bit of storage helps when you're in a small trailer. Now another change that you'll see in the 2021 trailers will be this roof panel that they've added, it has that gray wood tone on it. Now on this side, you have the switch for the outside porch light. On this other side, the switch for the porch light as well. However, you also have the switch for the recess lighting up here. And that just makes for a nice soft light, which is really helpful in a space this small. The fan on the ceiling opens up and it is a two-way fan. So it actually, can pull the air out or 
blow the air in depending on what works best for your situation. There is a three speed here. So you've got one, two or three speeds, just a great roof panel. That's just going to kind of set it off and give this a nice modern feel in here. Now on the back wall, you'll notice there's some changes as well in 2021. Um, the storage up here is great. You notice there's a, a panel right there that says TV prep. The TV used to mount on this cabinet door and uh, there isn't a TV in these campers any longer. However, if that was really important to you, there is a way to replace this door with a side hinge and mount a TV right here, wire it into that TV prep panel. So be sure to ask your dealer about that. The 5000 BTU air conditioner is still mounted right here in the center, does a great job. And you'll want to remember to turn on your AC fan switch to be sure to vent the hot air from the back of the AC when you're running it. Storage on both sides. Notice there's a shelf in between. Underneath the converter with the breakers and fuses. I love easy access to the converter panels. If you have any electrical issues, very easy to check it out right here. 110 plug on this side. Now on the other side, you'll notice there is a ceramic heater. Now it is a 110 heater that's going to be the first opportunity to have built-in heat in a tag. I love that upgrade in 2021 and it should be in every tag built. That is a standard feature. Next to that, the stereo, which will have Bluetooth capability, a USB. It's also going to have a HDMI cable so you can connect to it, stream all the things that you normally would at home. Now on both sides of the front headboard storage is the folding cup holders and the speakers. Now, the last thing I want to show you on this tag is the floor storage. You'll find it in both models, the XL and the standard. And right here on both sides, you've got what three or four inches of floor space. Great for storage. Now, this is two mattresses that I was sitting on in here. They come packaged together and we hadn't unpackaged them, but they do spread out to cover the entire floor. If you're traveling by yourself, you might want to stack them up on one side. Everyone does it different, but you will find this floor storage on both sides of the trailer. Now, depending on whether you get the standard tag or the boondock edition, or whether you get the five wide or the XL six wide, your price is going to be somewhere between 20 and 25,000. This is a great trailer. The lightweight will take you anywhere you want to go. So check it out at a dealer near you. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. If there's something we didn't cover, please leave us a comment. We'll be glad to help you any way we can. All right, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.